Welcome everybody to this short video. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make a stick figure walk using the program called Sticks. You can see uh, an animation sample here running in the window. Simply making the Sticks character walk across the stage. Let me loop it here so you can see it continually go. The figure starts on the left side of the stage and walks across to the right. Kind of turns towards the camera so to speak. Raises its arms and that's the end of it. It's about 33 frames to create this smooth looking walking animation. Alright, let's see how we can do it. You're going to want to start with a new default document. A default document in Sticks creates a stick figure character that looks like the one you see here. In addition to the stick figure, we want to do a couple things to edit it. First of all, we're going to add a ground line. We're going to take the line tool here. To make a simple line, you will click and release once on the far left and then move the mouse over and click and release on the right and that will create one line. One thing to know about when you create any kind of line or shape in sticks is the very first point you lay down is always the starter or center point, center node, and you can see I have that here and um, any other subsequent lines that are part of that shape will be, sh will be colored red. So the yellow one's always the first one. If you want to move that shape, you always have to move it from the yellow dot. If you try to move it from a red dot, then that just moves that singular node only and not the entire shape. Okay. The next thing we want to do with our character is position him, her, whatever, on the far left side. And um, we want to add some feet because we want, uh, it helps us to imagine what direction the character is walking in when you put some feet on the character. And our character is going to be facing towards the right, so we're going to make the feet face towards the right. In order to do, to do that, we'll grab our line tool again. Now to add lines to an existing character, you always, really important, you always have to click on an existing node first. In other words, I will click on this red dot at the end of the, of the leg, and then move out as far as I want that foot to be and click again and that will create a new load if I, node. If I don't do that, for example, say I want to add a foot over here on this side, if I click out here first and try to move in and connect it to the foot or to the leg, uh, it might look like I've created a foot, but as soon as I move that leg, I will see that that foot is not really connected and the clue to that is you can again see there's a yellow dot right here which means that this shape right here is a independent shape. Uh, it has its own yellow dot and so it's not part of my character. Alrighty, I'm going to get rid of that little node, right click delete, go back in, take my line tool, click there and move out and draw my foot. Okay, I'm ready now to animate my character go back get the select tool move my character into position and the goal here is to create a really realistic looking walking shape position your character to start with and begin animating one thing you can do uh, if you press the enter key that automatically creates new frames that speeds up your animating process a little bit now I want to think through what a realistic walking gait looks like. Obviously the arms and legs move opposite each other. I'm going to start by picking up this front leg, bending it a little bit, extending, maybe even getting him to move up onto his back toe a little bit as he rolls off his heel. Okay. I always move the yellow dot first, then reposition the limbs into the right spot. Remember all limbs are moving at the same time. Both arms and both legs are moving always with every stride. Once we've reached the full point of the stride here, I can start swinging the ling, wing, I can start swinging the limbs back the other direction. So 
Sometimes it's hard to keep track of which of the arms is in the front and which is in the back. You just have to kind of pay attention to it. Sometimes it helps to go back to a previous frame and look at how your, the limbs were swinging so you can remember It's also good to save regularly. Let's go File, Save. Let's call this Walking. And test it. All right, looks like this so far. Let's keep going. Again, move the yellow dot forward first. Then take the other parts of your character and move them. For realistic movement, you want to move with really small changes from one frame to the next. Otherwise, the animation looks kind of jerky. Once I've reached the end of the walking gait here on the far right side, I want to make it look like the sticks figure now turns towards the camera facing the camera. One way to do that is to foreshorten or shorten the feet so when because when the person is looking towards you, you don't see their feet pointing out in in one side or the other. So we'll take these um, sections here at the bottom. If you double click on a section, you can um, look at the segment properties window. If you double click on it, it'll turn red. You can see its properties and you can reduce the length of that segment. Again, you double click on it and reduce the length here. When you, One thing to notice is when you're using uh, selecting just a segment by double clicking on it, it will change to this white arrow, which is a subselect tool that lets you select just individual um, shapes or segments. Okay, I'm finished with my walking animation. Let's save it one more time and test it. We can see that the animation, uh, the character walks across the stage, then seems to point towards or look towards the camera. The feet are foreshortened, and we're done. All right, let's see if you can do it yourself.